Welcome back. I want to talk a little bit about posts versus pages. And this is kind of confusing when you're starting off, and you're wondering, am I supposed to be making posts or am I supposed to be adding pages? And you saw here that my default when I hit refresh here, it comes up with my post, the Hello World post, and it shows me the recent posts, but I was also able to go to a page. And this is my first page. This is what we edited in the previous session. So the question is, what is a post and what is a page? Now, it depends what you're trying to accomplish with your website. If you're building a website that is to represent your company or the services that you offer, your typical website for a company that is offering services or products, it would be using pages. Pages are typically more static. And if you think back to maybe your employer's website or a couple of websites or vendors that you've used, there's normally an about page, there's a products or services page, there's a careers page maybe, there's a contact us page. It's general pages that are always accessible on a menu bar and you can navigate through them and access them. They don't change that often. Maybe occasionally there's an update or you add a new page, but for the most part, it's a fairly static structure about contact, products, services, careers, etc. And so your typical product or services type company website will have a set of pages that represent your website. So in this course, we will first be doing pages because we're going to build that basic website. A post, on the other hand, is more for a blog. And the difference really is starts getting a bit semantic between a blog and a website. But the blog is more of a chronological journal of your almost day to day life. Now, if you're a personal blogger, it could be your day by day, what happened to you every day and every day you create a new post, and it'll archive it. You can see all the posts you made in September, all the posts you made in October, November, December, etc. So it'll show you all the posts that have been made. And it's like a diary or a journal. Now, of course, it doesn't have to be a personal journal. You could add new articles to your website every day or every week, which is a very good practice to give you better search engine rankings. And it might be, you know, a blog post or article on you know, how to do better SEO, how to create a website, how to do this, or whatever your articles are that's re related to your company for search engines. So you can have most of your website as a set of pages, and then you can have a section of your website where you have a set of posts, and the posts are those things you add daily and weekly. And it might sound a little confusing right now, but stick with me. Um, this will become more apparent as we start going through it because then it's going to start making sense and you'll see where the two fit together. This little explanation was just to give you a sense of why in the next few lectures we're going to be focusing on pages um, and ignoring posts and why you're going to be doing your work in the pages section in the admin console. So um, that and, and you'll start seeing when I start putting two and two together, you'll start you'll start the light bulb will come on. Uh, eventually, and you'll see it. So don't worry if you're a little confused. Um, for right now, just accept the fact that we're going to be creating pages. And if you go back to your administration console, um, and you click on pages here, you saw there was one sample page. Um, let's edit the name here quickly, go back to edit, and let's change the title to make it about. We'll click update. And now if we go back here, and let's go back to the root of our site, and you can see it's got an about there. It's changed the name in the menu bar for us. So what I want to show you now is you typically wouldn't want to show these posts coming up here. So in the next lecture, we're going to create our first page, and we're going to make that the first page that shows up when somebody visits your website not show this post.